So today I have a little bit of a haul that I want to share with you, and it's uh, from a couple different companies, but I want to show you, first I'll just show you the things I bought for myself. I bought the Dynamic Scribble Roses, the dies, and then the Scribble Roses Overlay. These look really fun, don't they? And then I also ordered the stamp set, but it's on back order, so I'm waiting for it to arrive. And then I got the Pierce Oval Frames. And I love the frames that they have. They, they're really good for card making. And then I also bought, by Stampers Anonymous, Crazy Thoughts. It goes with the Crazy Birds stamp set. If you haven't seen that, um, I'll show you real quick. These are the Crazy Birds by Tim Holtz. And there are like three or four stamp sets that go with it. There's dies that go with it. It's just, it's a really cool line of products. So these little speech bubbles go with it. And then this is called Crazy Talk. And these are the sentiments that go with the Bird Crazy stamp set. So those are the things that I bought for myself. And then um, Logan Claire, who, or I think it's Claire, uh, she owns a stamp store called Virginia Turtle. And she sent me some stamp sets and some enamel dots and some sequins. And I put all of those away. But let me show you the enamel dots real quick. They are glittery. Like they're not just plain, they're glittery. I don't know if you can see the sh Yeah, you can see that. See the shimmer? Isn't that pretty? So she sent me blue. She sent me this red and pink and maroon. Silver. And, and gold. So those are really nice. I like those. Okay, so then the stamp sets that she sent me. I'm going to zoom in so you can see them. So this is the first one, and they don't have names, I don't think, because I can't find the names on the stamp sets. But this is what this one says. It's got a little smiley face. I think those are really nice sentiments. I like this one. You make me happy when skies are gray. And then... This one is funny, but if you don't have this kind of sense of humor, you may not like this one, but I think most people think it's funny. So this is the uh, crappy day or whatever you want to call it one. <laughs> so I think this is funny. The blank happens and the little flies. It's gross. <laughs> it's gross, but it's funny. And then it's got little smiley faces to put on the poopy. So <laughs> okay, and then she sent me this cute little girl stamp. This is like a little what do you call those people? Little Japanese ladies? Um, geisha? Something like that. And then this little girl with a lollipop and a little princess. And it's got some cute sentiments. And this is probably my favorite. Little penguins. Like kissing. And then those two. And then there's one about sushi. And I love that it's got all the little smiley faces that you can put on these things. And the last one is this one. This actually may be my favorite. And I think the penguins is my second favorite because I really like the sentiments on this one. So that is from uh, Logan at Virginia Turtle. And I'm going to put a link to her website in the description box. So if you want to check out the rest of her stamps and stuff, um, you'll have a link. And then from Newton's... Newton's Nook Designs, I ordered some stamps, and I think some dies, and it came packaged like this. That's really cute. I like it when people take time to package things. Nice. And I guess this is Newton, the orange cat. It looks like my son's orange cat. And these are the stamp sets that I got. This one is called Newton's Birthday Flutter. Isn't that cute? So I ate them. <laughs> okay, and then this one is called Newton's Holiday Mischief. Really cute. This is Newton's Sick Day. I like this one because I have a couple friends that are nurses, so I plan on making them a few cards. The next one is called Newton's Antics. I like this one. 
And the little fish bone and the ball of yarn is really cute. This one is called Newton's Birthday Bash. And I figured these will be really fun to color. Uh, the last stamp set is just called Naughty Newton. And this one he's gotten into the toilet paper. This one he's scratching the walls. And then this one he's in a plant. And then I also got the dies that go to Newton's Antics. They don't have a lot of dies yet. They're just now starting to get dies in. So they only had a couple. But as they get them, I'll buy them because I really love to have matching dies. Unless I get a scanning cut. I'm trying to save up for a scanning cut. Um, so I don't have to buy so many dies, but we'll see. So I will put a link to the Newton's Nook store in the description box as well. And then I got a very, very nice gift box from Gina K. Let me get that for you. She was kind enough to send me some goodies from her store. And I'll put a link to her store in the description box as well. But first she sent me this 6x6 paper. It's a Gina K Designs paper, paper pad or paper stack. It's got really pretty autumn and fall themed papers in it. And then she was awesome enough to send me some inks, which I have been dying to try. So I've got prickly pear. This one is tomato soup. This is dark sage and cranberry tart so i will try these inks out if you guys are interested in seeing how they stamp let me know and i'll do a demonstration video so she sent me the paper pads and the inks and then she sent me this great big let me zoom out so you can see how big this stamp set is this is my hand this is how big this stamp set is there are a lot of stamps in this you get so much for your money so this is called sun kissed autumn and these are the stamps that come in the set. I don't know if you can see the sentiments or not. There, that's better. Isn't it? I like this one a lot. It takes a long time to grow an old friend. So that's an awesome stamp set. And then she sent me some of her cardstock which is out of this world high quality it's just the best cardstock I've ever used and I used to buy paper tray ink and Nina um, but now all I buy is Gina case uh, paper so or cardstock so there is this color which is called heavy ivory and there's a whole bunch of it this is heavy white and then cranberry tart which is this color and they all match the paper. the inks match the the papers the tomato soup prickly pear and dark sage so there's the cardstock next to the matching inks so i can't say thank you enough gina i really appreciate you sending me this and i can't wait to use it i'm going to make some cards with it um really soon i just can't wait to play so that's my haul, guys. I just was really excited and grateful for the things that these companies have sent me. And I am going to put them to good use. And I'm going to show you how I use them in videos and also on my blog. So if you haven't subscribed to my blog, it is KathleenDriggers.com. And I'd love it if you stop by. And if you like my blog, uh, just go ahead and subscribe. You can use Bloglovin or Feedly or you can subscribe by email. And I have a lot of organizational tips on there, as well as project shares and free printables, stuff like that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.